What is up, guys? Great and Pride here coming at you. Worst Calvin N.A. right here. Just kidding. Best Calvin N.A. About to have the most perfect game you've ever seen in your life. As long as you haven't seen that many games. So I'm going to be maxing three here. Big beam damage. That's what it's all about. Now, I'm going to try to bully this guy. I know he's not that good early game. Honestly, he's not that good 1v1 at all, because his ult doesn't do any damage. It only locks down opponents, so... Really, Kelvin is the much better dueler in this situation, so you're going to take advantage of that, and you're just going to bully your lane opponent. Really focusing on farming in the beginning. You're trying to get, I would say... 1500 souls as quickly as possible, maybe 2000. You want all your tier 1s done as quickly as possible. Then you really come online. Calvin has some pretty long cooldowns in the beginning. I feel like a lot of the champs do. So you definitely want to get as many items to mitigate that as you can. Come back here. I assume I purchase healing right. Yep. I basically always go healing right first item on Kelvin. Kelvin has a lot of healing built into his kit, but I feel like healing right just fits perfectly as your first item. Then you can just stay in lane. You can just out sustain pretty much anybody. Opponent is quite low. They mess up going around the corner there. They either got a little spooked, I was shooting them, or they're a little new combination of the both. Go in for this dive. Don't exactly hit the beam perfectly. But I get the M1, baby. <laughs> I'm so used to late game, Kelvin. How your beam literally reaches like halfway across the map. So it always startles me going back to the beginning of the game and realizing how short your beam is. All those short beam homies out there. I'm with you, man. Put another point into our one, so we have two grenades to work with now instead of just one. One thing I do, actually, that is not the norm for Calvin. Most people will uh, put two points into the grenade, so it heals you as quickly as possible. I actually don't do that. I just go all in on the beam. I think the beam is so powerful. And really, the self-healing grenades... I mean, healing right and your ult is enough healing. You don't need a third source of healing until very late in the game. Just kind of poke him off lane right there. I don't chase him because I'd rather just get the souls. There's really no reason to kill him here. Poking your opponent out of lane is basically the same thing as killing them early game. Gonna see if I can dive him. Your two is a great diving tool. He gets stuck on the corner again, and he goes down to the punch. I got stuck on my two a little bit there. I'm not the best at dismounting my two. I kind of just, like, fall off at the end. So that's one big thing to work on. Minion damage is, like, pretty beefy in the early game, which is good. I wish the tower damage was a little beefier, honestly. I think it's too easy to dive early game. Got my Mystic Reach, so my three last goes a little farther, and I got some uh, some Spirit Healing. So when I do Spirit Damage, I get a little bit of healing now. Goes great with Kelvin's Kit. Kelvin's Kit's all about healing and all about Spirit Damage. Dive this dude, same exact thing. I just chase him down with the two. Kind of bit off a little more than I could chew there. That turret damage was more than I expected. Hit him with a big grenade. You can see how those chunky gr those grenades are, dude. Those grenades chunk early game. I'm just waiting for my healing right to come up. Healing right gets stopped when you get damaged, so... By 
a, either a human or an objective. The minions don't stop your healing right, but like towers do and enemy combatants do. So you kind of want to hide when your healing right's going, but no hiding for me. I go for the dive. See, the second tier tower messes you up, dude, which it should. I mean, the tower should mess you up. So that, yeah, I was not expecting that damage on the second tier tower. I get the hell out of here. Honestly, he might have been able to chase me down and kill me. We were kind of both low health, though, and he doesn't seem super confident. So I, I might have been able to kill him if he chased me down. He was definitely in a good spot there, though. Just get some tier one boots. Unlike my Vindicta, I do buy boots on Kelvin. It's very important to get in on your opponent. He's a very close range character, so you need that speed to get in there. Unlike Vindicta, who's a very long range character, and that's why I think it's a little okay to not buy boots on her. A little okay. He took a turret shot there for no reason, which is nice. And he didn't stop my healing right, which is also nice. Alright. This man wants to smoke. He jumps in on me. Totally with two grenades there. My two ends, I'm just getting shot. I just retreat here. No shame in retreating. I've also said this in previous videos. I don't know. It's just like my play style, kind of. I prefer to be pushed in. So I really don't mind when the uh, enemy's pushing. I think when you're pushed in, it's a lot easier to make your opponent make mistakes. Because they kind of feel pressured that they have to do something. They have to dive you. You know, they have to go for turret damage. And when they're, when they're anxious like that, that's when you can get them. This dude teleports in on me for some reason. I have no idea why. I just ult him. No way he could kill me in my ult because I'm constantly healing. So I just... A couple punches and he's dead. I don't know why he teleported in on me there, honestly. I don't know if he was going to ult me. Not like it would have done much. Going for some big turret damage here. Get out of here. Boom. Guardian down. Oh, I, he, he typed to his team that he needed help. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't know that. Oh, that's so funny. That's that's like the... Uh, that's how you know you're doing good. That's like getting a gold star. I just want an Oscar there, basically. Here's your chance to shape your destiny. So I just got tier 2 duration dist extender. So now my 3 lasts longer. It's all about getting that beam beefy, dude. We're big beams around here. We got big beam energy. You want that beam long, and you want it strong, and you want it to last all night long. If you know what I mean. They did hit Kelvin's beam with a pretty uh, beefy nerf recently. That might be a habit in the future. It's still very powerful. Honest to God, as a Kelvin main... They should probably nerf it a little bit more. It is very strong. Kelvin's one of those characters where, like, I play Kelvin, and one of the reasons I do is because I don't want to see him on the other team. That's why I want to get good with Hayes, because I hate going against Hayes. So if I can stop the other team from choosing Hayes, I do it. Same with Kelvin. I hate going against a really good Kelvin, so I play Kelvin so that can't happen. I got my heal, my heal bane, so now my spirit damage uh, blocks their healing. They have a pretty support kind of heavy team, so I thought that was a pretty good early purchase. I don't know what's going on here. I thought my teammates would go in on this. I thought I had a pretty good engage. But they didn't really jump in with me. Kobe! Boom, hit her with the downtown grenade, dude. Out of there. Teammates didn't really go in as hard as I hoped they would. But they don't know me. I'm just some stranger. So I guess they have no reason to trust that I was about to pop off.
Get the gun buff. I don't honestly really need it. That could have gone to Haze or somebody, but nobody else was there, so I took it. Looking for two souls here so I can buy my next a item. Is waiting to be claimed. I was doing some quick math in my head. I'm like, is this worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Farming's always worth it. I don't even have any minions in lane, so it's not like I could have done anything else. Going for another tier 2 here. That looks like cooldown reduction, I believe. Which Kelvin desperately needs. Like I said, a lot, his abilities have very long cooldowns. Game kind of lulls down, you know, to that midpoint here. Laning phase is like kind of over, but people aren't really team fighting that hard yet. You're kind of in this little limbo, this little MOBA limbo. Until I get ganked by Paradox. She ults me, she she throws me through the uh, slow wall. I'm freaking out here. <laughs> I get stuck under the bridge. I ult her. I, re I didn't realize I ulted both of them. He ults me while she's stuck behind my two. She couldn't hit me because she was stuck behind my two. Then I kind of just do this three here just to say get the hell off me. Boom, I hit her with another downtown grenade. That would have been hilarious if that killed her too. I hit him with the question mark. You always gotta... It's like training a dog, you know? You gotta train the enemy not to mess with you. So her gate completely whiffed. Nothing really. They rarely even hurt me. I'm literally missing like 300 health. Mystic Vulnerability here, so now my Spirit Damage lowers their Spirit Resist, so hitting them with Spirit Damage increases the next, you know, instance of Spirit Damage. Goes really good with your 3. They're kind of a little low here, but I also feel like they kind of could have, uh, they kind of could have died for me there. Dove me. This guy comes way too far up, I don't know what he was smoking. I just completely ignore that paradox. I don't even look at her. Turn around. Now I look at her. I didn't know this Ivy was coming. So I kind of just went in on that 2v1 with the full intention of winning a 2v1. But then my teammates jump in, so I don't really get the opportunity. Poking down the walker here. Your 3 is really good at taking objectives once you get it maxed out because it bounces. So you can clear waves and take objectives and poke people under tower all at the same time just by hitting 3. I heal Haze there a little bit. I kind of consciously try to be a little more supportive this game. I try to hit a lot more people with my 1 to heal them. I try to get people in my alt. I don't know. I feel like Kelvin is like a little support-ish, so maybe I should try to play that way sometimes. But really, at the end of the day, you should play the way that makes you play the best. So if a champ is supposed to be played one way, but you're really good at them when they're played another way, just play that way, man. Just do whatever works best for you. So t there's a team fight happening a couple lanes over. I want to get back to that. So I speed boost. I buy tier 3 reach. Put that on my 3. So now my 3 is even longer and stronger, dude. I put my healing right on Bebop there. There's so many enemies here. So I, just, I have my 3 fully maxed out now. So I just throw out my 3. Bounce it over. I didn't realize I was getting so hurt. I heal myself, heal my teammates. McGinnis, her ult is very, very horizontal. So getting up in the air, like Vindicta, Kelvin, just get off of the ground. Great Talon too. I don't play Great Talon, but it's the same thing. Do a little more healing grenade. 
I hear somebody walking. There she is. I knew she's up there. We get the Infernus there. Bebop dies. I probably could have healed him. I don't know. I wasn't paying super attention. So this is actually scary. <laughs> I get ulted into their team. Uh, three people are shooting at me, and they just they just don't finish the job. As you can see, I'm kind of freaking out here. I'm just letting my three run wild. I got to get better at canceling my three when I don't need it. One grenade, and I'm pretty much back up to health. This Abrams is doing pretty decent, so I'm going to try to save him, which I do. Almost take him out with that grenade. Almost. If I had one more tier 3, I might have killed with that grenade. The enemy is getting pretty afraid of me at this point. They kind of are starting to avoid me. Which is what you want. I mean, you want that uh, mental damage. No guide is ever going to, like, no item, no, like, oh, make sure you go for perfect CS. That's not what wins games. Breaking your opponent down mentally is what wins games. If they're afraid of you, they're going to play worse, and they're going to not chase you when they're supposed to. They're going to not jump in on you when they should. That's going to win games. Oh, <laughs> Paradox shouted me out. Nobody really took the bait, though. Nobody followed me. This team fight has been going on forever, dude. This is like more than five solid minutes of just this one team fight going on. I save my Ivy. I get ulted here. He gets zero follow up from his team. In fairness, that's way too late. You should have done that earlier. Ivy picks me up and just drops me two feet away. I don't really know why. And then... Mo, Mo typing in the chat that this lane is fucked. He's not wrong. Finally, that team fight ends. Felt like an eternity. We're 11k ahead, but it's honestly pretty evenly spread. I feel like both teams are pretty even money-wise here. We got a couple people that are kind of fed, a couple people that are kind of not fed. I got tier 3 cooldown reduction. I put that on my... or no, that's duration. Tier 3 duration, I put that on my 3, so now my 3 lasts even longer. I thought it was only McGinnis here. Didn't realize Infernus was going to be here, but I just go in anyway. That McGinnis messes me up. She took half my health like it was nothing. I really I really don't respect McGinnis damage, and I should. I see the professor. Kind of feel like I should have taken that ammo. I, Abrams is a, uh, a very melee-heavy character, but I honestly don't shoot that much either. All we're doing now is farming up for our next tier three. Taken the objective. On the move. I see a big team fight. Kelvin, I think, gets around the map the fastest, I want to say. Haze is pretty good too, because she run she runs really fast when she's invisible. But I think objectively, Kelvin gets around the map the fastest. Get a nice little double kill there with my three. Just poked them both, poked them down enough to get assists. Thank you. I'm starting to get scared of Paradox, dude. I keep seeing these absolutely litty Paradoxes in my games that just manhandle everybody around them. I played, I just did like a random Infernus game, you know, just to try him out, just to have a little fun. I went against a Paradox who literally killed me like five times in a row, just on repeat. I would come back to lane, she'd kill me. I'd come back to lane, she'd kill me. She literally typed sorry in the chat. She's like, this isn't fair for you, I'm sorry. That's how badly she was beating me. But we ended up winning that game. Totally misclicked my ult there. 
absolute misclick, which sucks because it's a hundred second cooldown. A spirit urn is waiting to be claimed. Do a little farm in here. This Abrams comes over and helps me out. I'm not 100% sure how soul sharing works on uh, farming, or on jungling, I mean. So I don't know if you both get the max souls, if you guys like split it between you, I don't really know. I was about to head back to base, but then I see this big ass team fight happening right behind me, and I'm like, oh baby, I gotta get in on that. I don't know how that, how that uh, ult caught me. I feel like I was pretty far away from that ult. I get an easy kill on the mo. Once my three's on you, you really can't go anywhere. It's kind of just game over at that point. You're stuck. The is ours. I see seven. This McGinnis is actually pretty good. Our yellow walker has been destroyed. I don't know what the hell that, that was. I think that was a paradox charge shot. I kind of felt bad leaving this shiv, but I just really didn't want to fight that fight. He realizes pretty quickly that I was leaving though and he gets out of there. I'm farming up for my first tier 4 here, so I just need a couple hundred more souls. These things have so much health. Massive team fight. I'm literally the only person in the entire game out in this team fight right now. But I'm like, meh, I want to buy a tier four. I trust my team, dude. Don't need anything else for your next expedition. You know where to find me. My friend survival is paramount. So I upgraded my mystic vulnerability to now the more spirit damage I do, the more spirit damage I do. So it works perfectly with your three because it just constantly ramps up. The more spirit damage you're doing, the more spirit damage the opponent is taking. And it just look at that. It just ramps up on the three, dude. If you hit like a full length three on somebody, they basically die. Because it just shreds all their uh, all their spirit resist. I also got tier two boots there. Not too fancy. Just something a... Uh, that was a terrible trade. I don't know why I took that trade with Infernus. I don't have... I have one tier one gun damage item. And I was acting like I was Vindicta there or something. Seven jumps in here. Gets a decent three-man stun on us. Nobody follows it up, though. This team just wasn't... None of them were particularly bad, really. They just weren't playing that well together. Like, that Inferno should have ulted way sooner. This 7's not bad. I get ulted here. I, I'm like, I'm dying here, 100%. I go down to 90 health. But my ult just does too much damage. I like how we kind of just, like, avoid each other there. We just run to opposite corners, and we're like, no. No. Absolutely thought I was dead here again. I'm spam pinging her. I go down to 30 life. Boom. Not only does that grenade kill her, it heals me. I hit him with the question mark again. You gotta train people like dogs to stay away from you. That paradox is now either thinking I should not 1v1 Kelvin, or they're thinking I should 1v1 Kelvin because that guy's a dick, and then she's gonna die. It's basically, destroying your opponent's mental is basically a win-win for you. You're not 
gonna regret that. A spirit urn is waiting to be claimed. I bought tier three, uh, just generic spirit damage. It just increases your spirit damage. That's it. Nothing too fancy there. So my three is uh, maxed out, my one is maxed out, and my ult's maxed out. So I'm just gonna start working on my two now. The urn is ours. I'm almost positive that your two cooldown starts when you hit two. So if you go the full length, it's basically back up by the time you're done. No mo no. I thought you were saying go bo go. Massive grenade there. I don't really take advantage of the max two. So when you max your two, you gain spirit damage uh, based on how long your your little ice thing is, and it goes up to fifty five. So if you do a full length ice walkway thing. And you get 55 extra spirit damage as long as your ice walkway thing is up. Oh, Paradox shouted me out again. How cute. And it just, I just don't really think about that kind of stuff really. It's like, I think I would focus too much on it where I'd be trying to two too often or something. Or making weird moves to make it max length. And I'd rather just play the way I want to play I play good when I'm comfortable, so using the two too much would make me uncomfortable, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that, that starts a very funny trend of this uh, Bebop keeps grabbing me. I don't know if it's on purpose or if it's an accident, if I'm jumping in front of him, but he keeps grabbing me for like the rest of the game. Huge ult here. I get both of them stuck. I heal my whole team. Probably one of the biggest ults I've ever hit in my entire life of playing this game for two weeks. I teabag that Paradox again. Just because I feel like she's kind of like the linchpin of their team. She's kind of the only ones keeping them in this game. So if you can break her mentally, then you basically break the team. Oh yeah, he just grabbed that shiv. I think the Bebop is just fucking around. That's funny. That Infernus messed me up again, dude. He just pulled me again. That one might have been my fault. I think I jumped in front of him. Keep throwing your lives away. That's fine by me. One final question mark to end the game because I'm a bad person. I was thinking about ulting to stop us from winning, but I decided to just let them do it. Pretty good game. Zero death Kelvin, dude. I'm getting I'm getting pretty beefy as Kelvin. I'm going to do a lot more videos. If you guys want to see anything specifically, let me know. Ah, man. I'm going to be playing some Frostpunk 2 as well. Let me know if you guys want to see any of that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching because I know I enjoyed making. You guys have a great day.